was hitting start, but it won't doing nothing. It won't doing nothing. All right. I think I decided. Resident Evil. We'll continue from where uh, we were. We won't worry about going back and <clears throat> trying to save that extra ammo from Nemesis. Although... Okay, so we have to go back to Star's office, and just because... I know we're probably going to run into liquors eventually. We'll take that to be safe. I know Nemesis pops out, or pops in through that window at some point. Oh, I didn't see that other zombie! Well, ain't that a bitch. tricked me. Oh, no worries, brah. How is your Destiny 2 going? the desk of Westker, Captain of Stars. Is it gonna let me working on your dailies? I don't remember if there's like I thought there was like ammo or something behind the desk, but is this ammo here on Barry's desk? Yeah it is. God, the way that she words things is weird. The desk of Barry, a STARS member. It's the desk of Chris, a STARS team member. I'm not gonna respond to that, Jill. Desk of Rebecca, a rookie temper of stars. <gasps> what is that? I can't take it right now, but what is that? Oh, I can't carry it. It's a grenade launcher. Grenade launcher. We'll come back for you, my friend. To the boys of stars. That's a little sexist. I have some good news for you from my brother Joe. He has finalized the new handgun for official use. It's the M92F Star Special, but he calls it the Samurai Edge. It's the most balanced of the Kendo Custom Guns. Joe said if you miss the targets with this, you should carry a teething ring instead of a gun in your holster. The goods will be delivered along with the proper documentation. I'm sure you'll be surprised when you see what kind of excellent parts we used for the M92F. I know what you'll want. I know that you'll want to thank the good people who developed it. Sincerely, Robert Kendo, Kendo Gun Shop. She is she just looking? What is she looking down at, or is she just looking down because she's injured? No. 
No! Tune is cut off. No survivors found. This is Carmo. Send in support unit immediately. I have a shit ton of ammo. I should focus on. I should shoot enemies. Well. Uh, I would say that that's small too. small. Far too small for a child to fit through, but. I don't remember what was secured with a simple lock before. I gotta go back to the city though. This other, is this other zombie dead? Yes, he is. Okay. That would be our boy. If we can get to the save room, that'd be great. Whoops. <laughs> Later, buddy. deposit that should probably use the first aid spray I don't know that I need this for anything else at the moment but I don't want to put it down and then have to come back and get it Well, we'll just go with one free item slot. Let's try and dodge Nemesis here. I think he's. Yep. gonna take that for now I think I took yeah over here was really I don't remember him coming through doors like that oh boy oh god oh god oh god Yeah, it would be nice to have. I can't... Ooh. Forgot about it. Take it. Before Nemesis comes. I don't know if he will, but... I don't know if Nem Nemesis comes into the main hall. <clears throat> I feel that, though, dude. I'm looking forward to it myself. I think it'll be real fun. Okay, the spot where Brad died. <laughs> okay. The fire hydrant stopped spurting water.
This is the door that was a simple lock. Okay. I don't like how... I guess they didn't start that till later. Where... You had, like, a key item that you always had. Like, the lighter or the lockpick. And they didn't actually take up a spot in your inventory. Yep, there it is. I guess we'll have to fight that later. <clears throat> There's a fire hydrant. A fire hose is fixed with bolts. Okay, so I need to get a, a wrench. That's a lot of herbs. to know that that still works although the enemies have invincibility frames so I can't just slash and slash no I don't want that right now I guess it doesn't work as well when there are two fucking dogs jumping at you. Okay. Game's being weird. do a thing. Yep, I have an extra item slot now. Blue herb. <clears throat> Please tell me there's an item box in here. Okay, good. <laughs> I might go back out and grab those other items. Is there anything in this locker? Is this ammo or powder? Ammo. back out, get that powder, and then, uh, save and see about moving forward. 
hope Nemesis doesn't show up right now. Okay, good. Okay, good. Dogs didn't respawn. I actually might go pick up... Well, I can only pick up one. But... No. Mm, it's right out this door, I think. Looks like I don't... I think... Liquors? Watch, that's going to be the next item I'm going to need. Is my lighter. That went better than I expected. I thought one of the police cars... Maybe not. I thought one of the police cars you could like go into the door and there was like ammo or something in it. Another one of you. There you are, buddy. These fucking invincibility frames. There we go. There's no power supply connected to it. Okay, so we need to get a battery. I can't also take the battery from the car. I don't think. Wait. Jill, thank you. of this stuff needs to go, so we're just going to leave items where they are for now. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh dear lord. I don't know why I did that. So before the shit hits the fan, we'll go back and drop off some items. Come back. Move forward. Now. Ow. Oh no, that's not where I came from. Okay, good. No more dogs. For now. Save. That sounds. That seems like a good idea. bothering me a little bit, so we're going to do this. Oh, map. I missed that last time. go ahead and take this for now because I know we're gonna have to use it soon or not because we'll get stuck we will take an herb though about to happen. And I think I will pick up that gunpowder too um, because uh, this is the only time we're going to be coming through here, I think. One of the only times. Like how there's a phone booth in the restaurant. Like, why not outside? City Guide. City Guide, the tracks of our city. Dear citizens, thanks to kind and generous people of Umbrella Inc., this is a peaceful and friendly city. The vast donations from Umbrella Inc. have been used for welfare work 
the construction of public utilities and to help maintain public peace. In 1992, it was, the, uh, it was my fifth year as mayor of our beautiful city. It was then that through many donations and hard work, our city was able to rebuild the municipal building, creating a state-of-the-art hospital. In honor of these fine accomplishments, I was awarded with a grand statue that same year. The statue rests in the municipal building. I came to the city as an engineer more than 35 years ago. I made contributions to the electric systems and to the installation of the cable car. I pledge to follow the tradition of the fine city and will devote my life to its prosperity. The mayor of the city, Michael Warren. What up, bird? <laughs> Walk through the door, two zombies. Why what? What's that? As a human. Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos. Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill, did you just say you belong to Umbrella's You're Army? You're a good bit in nice. Yeah, we came all the way out here to save Oh, good bit in. This is uh, a little bit more went than an hour. The we landed. Stars. Wait, how did he find me? That boy mad. made a mistake. Fucking A. I hope Carlos can't die. Maybe Carlos can die. That's not good. I guess Nemesis doesn't drop anything on this difficulty. Carlos, I don't remember. I'm I guess the two options for this were either hard mode or easy mode. <laughs> and because it's been so long since I played this, I figured maybe we'll just do regular. Or easy. Okay. Yeah, it's a freezer. Can you open it? 
Carlos seems to be fine now. Yeah, Carlos seems fine. Damn. There was Wait. no option to run, though. I have to ask you something. I know. You want to ask me out? All the foxy ladies love my accent. It drives them crazy. What? Keep dreaming. Tell me, why did Umbrella send your team in? We're here to rescue the civilians. Don't huh. lie to me. Umbrella is the reason why this whole mess began. Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? If you want answers, you should talk to someone else. I am not with Umbrella. I mean, but you Believe are. Believe it or not, we're only here to rescue the civilians. If you can trust me, then help us. Think about it. I mean, you literally said that you were with Umbrella earlier. I believe the words, I'm with the Umbrella, Biohazard, uh, whatever. <laughs> oh yay, a crank. And also a save room. I'm gonna trade this. thought I had... Oh well, whatever. We'll take this, because I'm about to use one. Actually, maybe I should use both, honestly. I'm in red! Now I'm in green! Yes, I will take the shotgun shells. Shoot gun! Everyone loves a shoot gun! <laughs> Believe it or not, this is my... This is the Resident Evil game I am least familiar with. With the story, I know. I know the story really well, but... With the gameplay, not so much. <laughs> How's it going, bird? What are you up to today? And the zombos are back. Okay, that should have... Should have been a decapitation, but really? Okay. It's a lot of zombie boys. Did you have a nice time, my guy? I haven't been to any parades this year. <laughs> yeah, I heard. I heard what happened there. How long into the parade... How long was the parade going before that happened? Is this a puzzle that I just have to, like, brute force? There's probably a document somewhere that tells me how to do it. 
but I think it's one of the ones that you can just brute force. Clock that is not functioning too... Oh, okay. So I have to find the two gems. One of them is in the star's security lockup. I gotcha. It really is. Um, like I said, it's been a very long time since I've played it. And I don't know why. I never, like... I played it twice on Dreamcast, once on PlayStation. Is this a green herb? No. But there's a thing on the... Yeah, a Taxigo station with a DeLorean out, out in front. <laughs> How did somebody get this photo? Close-up shot of a zombie. It says, Scoop, on the backside. Taking the photo B. I don't... I know I have to push this stepladder somewhere. I guess it's there. But yeah, it's been a minute since I played this game. I don't need to use this right now. Oh. Uh, okay. So... He did. Uh. Oh shit. Well, this is one of the gems. I think there's like an... oh, fuck. Okay. I think there's like an easter egg in here or something. Reporter's memo. <clears throat> At last I have found the evidence that I need to prove that the cannibal disease is indeed happening in the city. One man actually ate people to death. He was like a savage animal hearing... tearing away a new... tearing away a new flesh? He was like a savage animal tearing away a new flesh. Okay. It was completely disgusting. I've heard rumors that many people are also suffering from this disease now. However, the cause of the disease is not yet known. And this... Is this another mystery of the present... Some of the wording in the, these is just really weird. Is this another mystery of the present disease? I will have to check on it. They have placed Raccoon City under martial law. See, Raccoon... Okay. I could have sworn Raccoon at some point was only spelled with one C, but maybe that was a typo in, like, one of the older games. Um, because of the cannibal disease. I have lost contact with the media outside of the city, but I won't give up. As a journalist, I won't keep my eyes shut and walk away. I have a duty to the people in my profession. I don't think this disease uh, has spread nationwide yet. I believe that the city holds the key to create uh, creation and cure. In fact, I'm sure of it. 
Um, oh, that's why. I had it backwards. The, the word raccoon, as in the animal... No. Ra okay, raccoon... What? Okay, so we have to pause for a second. Raccoon is spelled with, with two C's, which I knew, but I thought at some point I read raccoon was only, the city was only spelled with one. But I look up raccoon on Google, and what is, the, what, what is this going on over here? Meet a life-size raccoon up close. View in 3D. It's playing raccoon noises. What? Come on, do the noise. I view in my space. Oh my god. Fucking... Bruh. I can totally use my camera and like point it at my bed and it'll put the raccoon on my bed. <laughs> anyway, the military has set up the blockades around the city to keep people from escaping and spreading the disease. Most of the citizens have either died or have come in contact with the disease. I know that this is the right decision to quarantine the city, but I can't help but pity myself. If I'm infected or eaten, it doesn't matter. My fate is already sealed. All I have left is my journalism. I won't give up until I solve the mystery of this deadly disease. I have just discovered that the disease is not spread through the air, but by some other means. Yep, that would be bites and, uh, um, fluids. People fluids, whatever the... Bodily fluids. I couldn't think of the word bodily. The police have been destroyed. Some of this is, like, I think really bad, like, localization. The police have been destroyed. You've taken the photo C. I thought there was an Easter egg in here somewhere, but maybe that's later. There's another office you go to, I think. Let's just make sure we're checking everything. Alright, let's get out of here. Tax ago, I love that. It's, did that really just say, it seems that this is not enough to make the device to work? That was definitely another, like, typo or localization error. Oh, uh, we're gonna run to Nemesis in the garage going back, aren't we? Unless I haven't done all the things yet. <clears throat> what is oh right okay not come up the stairs hey what's up 
the quick nemesis footage. Um, when when was the reveal footage revealed? <laughs> I don't believe I saw it. Unless it was the footage that showed his like face, then I then I have seen it. Uh, I need a battery that way. <clears throat> It's just this quick moment with Nemesis attacking, kill, full block. Uh, I have not seen that. I will have to, uh, <clears throat> I'll have to look that up. Or if you can, if you want to, like, link it to me on Facebook or something. So I need to go back and get the blue gem. No, just some allergies. I actually went out and washed my car today and there's a lot of pollen around. Um, and there was a lot of pollen on my car. So uh, I think I just have a little bit of the sniffles. <clears throat> Coronavirus. It's the T-Virus. Sadly, it is the T-Virus. Um, yeah, so I decided that because when I started this game, it gave me the option for hard mode or easy mode. I decided to go with easy mode because it's been like 10 years since I've played this. Um, and I don't, I remember the story really well, but in terms of gameplay and puzzles, I, I almost don't remember anything. Like I remember some of the spots where Nemesis comes in and, and um, attacks you. I know he attacks you in the garage at some point. And you have the option to like, jump through a hole in the floor or knock Nemesis through the hole or something like that. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight another Licker here. Or a Licker. This is the... Yeah. Yeah, this is the PSX version. <laughs> oh, I need the wrench for that. That's right. I... I... what? <laughs> that was a bit ridiculous. Not only did she not do the dodge, but she just, like... She didn't shoot, either. She just stood there. Oh, Christ. It's Brittany, I don't... okay. <laughs> See, if I knew this game better, I would have known that there would have been two, and I would have been more prepared. Fire doggo!
Is it recent or is it an older video? I'm going to deposit this because we're going back to the precinct. I don't think I need that for now. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it. I heard the cover, but I don't think I've seen it. I should really start using some of this gunpowder. But the easy mode gave me so much ammo. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna take a minute to organize because my slight OCD is driving me nuts with all of this right now. Alright. Okay, so that's the first item slot. So while we do this, how's everyone doing tonight? <laughs> Actually, what I might want to do is this. Instead of saying you're, I'm addicted to you, don't you know that you're toxic to get on the track, the version in the video ends with, I'm addicted to you, don't you know what's pretty, oh, that's pretty funny. Okay. This also bothers me because, like, a lot of the times I don't know, like, where a certain item is. Actually, I think maybe I'll do this. I'll make it down for weapons and ammo and up for... Um, okay. So much, so many, I already have so many items. Oh, uh, okay. Editing channel points. Hey there, what a toxic name, nickname, primo. <laughs> Mr. Tyrant. <laughs> Mr. T-Shreds. All right, um... So we'll do that. Well, knife we're gonna hold on to. It's uh, definitely one of the most memorable for me. All right, so we'll take this, we'll take this. I think I need to use the crank right out here, actually. Oh, well, and I meant to take, I meant to take a healing item and this so that I can uh, heal myself. Or so saves. Heal and save myself. Heal myself. <laughs> heal myself and save. Not heal and save myself. Uh, go. Okay, we're, we should be good. Put that back, and let's go. Thank you all for bearing with me while I, while I had to tend to some of my OCD. Oh, wait, no, I don't... I need to... Okay. I don't... 
I actually might not need the crank for a bit then, the rusty, rusty crank. I don't remember that, and that just jump scared the shit out of me. The fuck off me. Nope! Okay, good. Thought I was gonna get foot bit. Jesus! Take all the knife shots, please. <laughs> uh, need to... Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I like how she aimed up after whatever. Okay. See, if that was like two or three zombies, I would have just, you know, used pistol ammo or tried to dodge them. But no. Oh no, crows! Go away! I don't like you. We are not friends. <laughs> I hear zombies. Oh, let's... Can we make it a three-piece? Shit. Well... I'm just dropping the ball all over the place here. Appreciate that pre- I can't talk. Appreciate that host. Oh my god, why did Jill- Okay. I have no idea why Jill just started turning to the- to the right. See, she did it again. I okay. We're gonna go back. Actually, there's. Why is that up now? Cause I can't go up there anymore and get. Is that not a map? Oh okay. Oh boy. This is not going well. I guess this is just a shit talk in my chat now. <laughs>
I think I'm trying to do things that I did in other Resident Evil games, and because I'm not as familiar with this game, I'm just failing miserably. I'm kind of glad that I put it on easy mode now. Uh, Jill. I... No, we're good. I see, I kind of feel like I just want to go and load from the last... I'm gonna do that. Because that was all my fault. I mean, younger me would probably agree with you, but I kind of... Brendan Urie is an awesome vocalist. There's a live cover that he did of Bohemian Rhapsody, or that Panic at the Disco did of Bohemian Rhapsody, and I was like, whoa, okay. Resident Evil. I wouldn't go out of my way to listen to Fall Out Boy or Panic at the Disco, but I... I think they are. Right. They're they're both somewhat talented bands. They're just not my cup of tea. I'm an awesome vocalist. Uh. All right. So. Twitch sings. So we need to deposit this. We don't need this for now. <laughs> Crappy bastards. Uh... Alright, so those zombies are gonna pop through the... Um, coal chamber? <laughs> I feel like maybe I should take this just because of how things have been going. Crappiest bands you guys like. You like Coal Chamber. Um. Hmm. Crappiest bands that we like. Hmm. Like, bands that maybe necessarily aren't really great, but you still like them, I guess. Okay, definitely wasn't close enough for that headshot. Not necessarily. Something, it, to me, it seems like something, like a band that you like, um, maybe a band that you like that not a lot of other people like, or a band that maybe isn't super musically talented but you still like anyway. See if we can get out of get through here without getting attacked by the birds. <laughs> there are dogs in here now. That's weird.
I was actually listening to, um, the Fallout Boy cover of Beat It, which is actually a pretty good cover. Um, it features John Mayer on guitar, though, and the solo. Um, the solo that he does is kind of not good. Um, I do like some John Mayer songs. There are some songs that are, you know, that I think are catchy and, and not... He's not a bad guitarist. He's definitely not. But, again, his music is not really my cup of tea for the most part. There are a couple of songs that I, that I do like, but... You do blow his shit up. I can't tell. There we go. Made a kick with the new falling in reverse stuff, though reluctantly because Ronnie Radke is bleeding him. Right. Yeah, I heard he's a pretty shitty human being. I'm not familiar with any of their music, though. Did these zombies repopulate? Or did I just not kill them earlier? No, I had to have killed them. Okay. God, that's a lot of zombies. I forgot how many... Uh, um, how, like... This game... There are so many instances where there are, like, a ton of zombies in one room. Um, which is kind of crazy, because... Until the Resident Evil games got more uh, action-oriented, you don't really see more than a small handful of zombies in an area at a time. Here, there have been... We're only a couple hours into the game, and there's already been a few instances where there's like five, six, seven zombies all attacking you at once. It came from that way, so we're going to go this way. Which honestly makes makes sense because you're in a city here. You're not um. It's locked from the other side. You're not in a house. Help! I don't remember that. Oh boy. Definitely a zombie that wakes up to attack me. But okay. I don't remember that part either. The girl screaming and running for help. I said that backwards, but you know what I meant? Running and screaming for help. I, I'm so turned around right now. Okay.
guess maybe I need to go back this way. Deal with all these fucking crows. Until, I guess, some more of these doors get unlocked. This isn't the crow area. Absolutely. What's going on, one arm George? Yes, I am very, uh... Not, gr not well, <laughs> playing the original, because I wanted to play it again before uh, the new one came out, or the remake. I am not, uh, this is the Resident Evil game that I probably have played the least. If you ask me why, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Well, shit. Really? There was a whole murder of crows in front of me. Okay, I'm not gonna waste shotgun ammo on these jerks. Ugh. Don't say you're full of flu, too. Am I sniffling that much? <laughs> no, I just, uh... I went and uh, cleaned my car, washed my car today, and there was a lot of pollen on my car. Um, so... I got a lot of pollen on me, I guess. I already, I already showered, but... <laughs> I'm actually glad that I'm taking the time to play this. I don't have the okay. I don't have the crank with me. Uh, taking the time to play this again, it'll it'll make the remake a little bit easier for me, I guess. Resident Evil Two, I played Resident Evil Two a million times. Resident Evil One, I played Resident Evil One half a million times. This one I've played maybe about three or four times. <laughs> And I feel bad because it's a great game. I don't know why I haven't played this game as much. Eh. Honestly, I... I my allergies are really bad. Uh, so... I kind of always... have some sort of sniffles. So I, uh... Thank you for the follow one on George. Um, so I kind of just put up with it. I didn't I, see, I gotta figure out why this doesn't update immediately. Okay. Maybe I need to have that open. Okay. Um, yeah, but um, usually... Mm, this way. <laughs> At least the crows didn't come back. I don't need to use this right now. There's a square hole. This one doesn't have a square. Oh! I went all the way back for nothing. Please don't fuck noses. When you live in the south, your nose is your worst enemy. Touche. At any point, I am dealing with some sort of allergy. Oh, great. Some sort of allergy issue. Just because you're close. You're out. Thanks for stopping by. Claire? Or Claire. I'm so used to saying Claire because of Code Veronica. 
Um, but, uh, yeah, thank you for stopping by. Great seeing you as always. Let's play with fire. Uh, get stun locked. Um, anyway. I should have just grabbed the blue. <laughs> I should have just grabbed the blue gem when I was at. Oh my god. I. <sighs> okay. It's gonna be so good this here remake. Indeed. Absolutely. I'm not, because Resident Evil 2 is like one of my favorite games of all time, and you know, by, by those rules is one of my favorite games of all time, I am not quite as excited for Resident Evil 2, or Resident Evil 3 remake as I was for um, Resident Evil 2, but, um, huh? why, it's, L okay, L2 is the map, so we need to go to Jill's, l Jill's left, this way. See, like, I don't, I don't know this game, I know this game so little <laughs> that I'm having to use the map to get back to the police station. Like I said, it's been like 10 years since I've played this and I've only played it maybe about three or four times, so. Am I gonna play the multiplayer game coming out? Uh, well, it is part of Resident Evil 3 Remake. And since I am getting Resident Evil 3 me the blah, 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 since I am getting the Resident Evil 3 remake, or as I've been referring to it recently, the 3 make, um Yeah, I'm probably give it a shot. I think it I mean as a standalone game I would not have bought it. But being included with Resident Evil 3 anyway, um I'll definitely give it a shot. It always throws me off when you come, when you go into an area you've been and it shows you a different camera angle. Oh good, Nemesis isn't here with his rocket launcher trying to blow me to smithereens. came back all the way just for this. Never played Resident Evil 3, only watched, but may give it a try before Remake, or would, would it spoil Remake? I mean, the Remake... Hmm. That's an interesting question. Um, it depends on, I guess, if you like older dated games. Um... I would definitely recommend giving it a shot. Um, however, nowadays, copies of this game aren't exactly super cheap. Um, they're not necessarily really expensive either. Um, my problem is I, uh, I always... I have to... <sighs> I like, I'm a, more of a collector, and I like to have the, um, I like to have the case, I like to have the booklet, and when it comes to PlayStation games, I like to have the Black Label version versus the Greatest Hits version, um, 
I think actually, I think I got this and the Resident Evil 1 Director's Cut when I bought, way back in high school, when I bought the PlayStation off of my friend. I since traded in the PlayStation, but I kept all the games because I have a PlayStation 2. Um, all right, let's let's take a look. At, but anyway, um, I think you know th that is really up to you. There are certain things that are probably going to be spoiled just because you are um, you would be playing the game and then be playing a remake of the game that you just played. So there's going to be a lot of similarities. But I don't know if you played Resident Evil 2, but with Resident Evil 2, the story beats were kind of the same, but the gameplay was very different. Some of the big things that happened in Resident Evil 2 still happened in the remake, but maybe they happened differently or they happened at different times or something like that. So I think even if you were to play Resident Evil 3 before the remake came out, it would still be a good experience. You just finished streaming Resident Evil 2 98 last time you played. was eight year Last time you played, you were eight years old. Don't hold any physical copies, mainly emulators. I've been brought up with Resident Evils. Just skip 3, only watched. Yeah, I was just saying a little while ago that 3 is kind of like the one that I've played the least. For reasons even to myself are unknown. Um, but, uh... I, 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 I decided I was going to... Yes, okay. Um, but yeah. I have... Um, anyway, the point of me saying that I got this with the PlayStation is Resident Evil 3 and Resident Evil 1 Director's Cut, I don't have the, the copy, the uh, cases for them. So I will, because I am that guy, will eventually shell out the money to buy both of those. I'm so lost. <laughs> I think I need to go this way. Um, I've actually been getting the dodge pretty decently in this. Oh dear lord, I'm I'm back at uh the beginning. We are going to figure this out. It's fine. This is casual, so it's <laughs> I'm casually playing a game that I haven't played in 10 years. So there's going to be a lot of me getting lost and all that. Yes, this is the way I needed to go. I yeah. I might, uh, I have it. Um, actually, I think I have Dino Crisis. I think I have the first Dino Crisis. Um, I would have to double check, but I know some on PlayStation, like with the um, case and everything, I want to say are like pushing 60 to $80. If you want to get the disc by itself, you can probably get the the um, the loose disc for 20, 30 bucks maybe. So if you're just looking to play the game, then that might be the route that you go. I just I'm a I like to have all of the things as they were meant to be, I guess. I am going to be building a bookshelf soon, um, and I'm going to use it to put most of my games, as well as books, on. Oh, dear lord. The, the, this way... yeah? Um... So... I want to be able to put all the cases and stuff, you know, up on my bookshelf and uh, 
Dear Lord. Um, be able to show them off to an extent, I guess. To, to no one in particular. I just want to do it because that's how I like to do things, I guess. <laughs> Let me take a quick look, actually. Because I was... I was I knew I had a copy of um, ne uh, Nemesis, but I was looking it up recently because I know I didn't have the case. Um, res ah, that's not bad, actually. There's uh, a case. Well, that's bid. That's not if you were to just buy it. Buy it now. Okay. So I was wrong. You're looking at probably about 40 to 50 bucks in the case. Um, I'm trying to see. There's a that's a there's a Dreamcast copy that's 35, no case. There's a Dreamcast copy with the case that's seventy dollars. Um So it looks like a lot of them are probably around the thirty to forty dollar range if you wanna um Yeah, there's a there's a greatest hits copy of Nemesis that's thirty dollars and it looks like it's just the it doesn't have the booklet, but it's in a case and it has the the back sleeve. Here's a, a Nemesis for Dreamcast that's eighty bucks, so it's kinda you could probably get one for about thirty thirty dollars loose. Um, but there are some copies that have the booklet and everything that are about thirty to forty, so I might have to continue just trying to play this game a few times. Because I, I definitely, over the years, have not given this game the... the, um... the playtime it deserves. We're gonna deposit this for now because we obviously are not gonna need it. I feel like I'm gonna need this soon. So I'll take it just in case. You right. And I am glad that they introduced the the uh I don't know why the dodge mechanic didn't stay around. Maybe because people weren't able to successfully do it as much as they would like. But I'm glad they kept the quick turn. This way? See, the fact that I actually got hit with a jump scare earlier should be enough to tell you how much I have not played this game. <laughs> Did I already examine this dude? Does he have a thing? He has a thing. Yes. Give me the ammos. Thank you, buddy. Rip you, but thanks for the ammo. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I think another, another, uh, another face to face with Nemesis is coming up soon. The door is stuck from the other side and won't open. Uh, let's go this way. Wow. 
wait. What? Was... See, there's the DeLorean. Was... Texaco... Ta Texaco... Was that from 2? Motherfucker, I need the crank. <laughs> uh, Resident Evil, you rear your not ugly but beautiful head. <laughs> the crank that I just deposited. <laughs> oh, and I think it breaks too. I think it breaks when I'm trying to... Okay. That door opening sounded like an old man trying to get out of a chair. Uh... AKA me trying to get out of a chair. <laughs> Thank God there's a save room right here. It probably is. Raccoon City did its damnedest to try and make all the fans happy. Hey, you're not that much older than me, bruh. <laughs> Listen to it. Oh. <laughs> Nemesis doesn't attack at the gas station, does he? I'm pretty sure he attacks in this courtyard area. I don't think... I don't, I don't think he attacks at the... I think, I think crows bust out of this jeep here. If I'm not Mr. A Mr. Sta Mr. Staken. Yep, it breaks. So I need to find, I guess, a wrench. Which I'll also need to get the fire hydrant. Watch. I think fucking birds are gonna... $1.25 a gallon. Okay, maybe it, maybe they bust out later. I'm, I'm pretty sure. There are certain things that I remember. And certain things that maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. I don't like where this is going. I mean, I might as well take care of you boys now. Jill, stop doing that. Alright, oh, I know you're fucking with me. I know you're fucking with me. Oh, you jackass. Rip your face. That sign right there says smoking permitted. Actually, it looks like it's a smoking permitted, but... And then look, Koi Japanese Food and Delivery. 
Yes, can you deliver from destroyed Raccoon City to my house, please? We should probably save soon. Just saying. Oh, okay. I forgot. Bird, the other night you referred to the worm in Code Veronica as Gravedigger. The worm in this game is called Gravedigger. That's why I got confused for a second. I think the worm in Code Veronica is called Gulp. He's a gulp worm. In this game, he's called Gravedigger. Oh, three piece. They are. They are very different. Oh, I think this, the one in this, oh, is that a four piece? That's a four piece. Look at that. Four barbecued zombos. Um, they call the zombie, or they call. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, I think they call this, the, the worm in this game Gravedigger because it attacks you at, in a, in the, in a graveyard and, you know, rips up the whole graveyard because it's digging through the ground. Oh, thankfully I brought these with me because I think, yes. Super de dupa. Mechanics memo. Oh, that's a lot of words. Okay. I know that you're intimidated by your new job, Kevin, so let me tell you how to make sure uh, that you and your trains get along just fine. You see, these carriages were made in 1968. That's a really oddly specific year. And then imported from Europe. Sometimes they get rickety, but they still work because they are simple, stubborn, and strong. We can always depend on them. If they have a bad day and are malfunctioning, you'll need to take a good look at their circuits for any trouble. A train that was built in 1968, you need to take a look at its circuits. Okay. Uh, once you discover what's wrong, you'll be able to fix it easily. I'm sure that you'll be able to avoid these nasty little malfunctions if you check the parts every day. These old trains will surely have problems if you don't remember to check them out. Just remember that you need to replace anything. You'll ha you have to choose a suitable part. When I say suitable, I mean that if even if you can't find another original part, you'd better find something that works good enough. Even with regard to oil, you must always prepare good quality oil for these trains. Never forget, Kevin, that a man... Be Trays others, but a machine won't. That's a lot of words to say. Yo, make sure your train st keeps working right, family. You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? Bad Russian accent is bad. Is someone wounded back there? Jill, are you blind? <laughs> dude's dude's laying on the bench five feet in front of Hey, is somebody wounded back there? Okay, ten feet. <laughs> that angle was weird, oh, but she sh still bad. should have clearly been able to see him. Coming. Get ready! Ah, ah. Fire! Fire! Stay together! Calm down. You're safe now. Everything is no, he's not. okay. He's not safe. Nikolai is going to kill him. Because Nikolai's a dick. You should call him Dickolai. So, Jill, did you decide to help us out? 
It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. Decline. <laughs> no, we can't trust her. This dude looks like Mr. X. Why? But Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. I think if we he don't is. cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. I know Nikolai kills somebody else and says, Oh, he was about to turn into a zombie. Fine. But I forgot that then let's go over Mikhail is already We're wounded. moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. The chopper's gonna That's pull out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. You're in a fucking train, the Carlos. The problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people, let's get moving. I'm glad my subordinate Jim, approves of my, uh, my plan. Thanks for more inventory space, my guy. You're a doll. There's the wrench. Was it not more inventory space? I thought it was more inventory space. Oh, maybe because it's on easy mode we have, uh... We already had the inventory space, so now Jill's just wearing... Wearing a holster or an item item pack thing. Okay. We're about to run back into Nemi. Hopefully we can just run away from him. Uh, let's pick this up. I know I have... I have to come back this way later. We'll get the other one later. I know I already have uh, first aid sprays in my inventory, but we'll we'll stick with the hoping that Nemesis doesn't hit us. You're an ass. <laughs> Maybe that's what I was remembering. That a zombie busts out of a car door. I could have sworn. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's gunpowder. I knew I wasn't crazy. <laughs> I could have sworn it was a police car that you go into and get, uh, get bullets out of. But it was that car door, and it was gunpowder. I'm still I'm still waiting for those birds to come out. I don't know if they will or, or not, but Jill, don't you think it'd be faster if you just did this? No? Okay. Why did it bring me back? to the inventory screen and now my inventory is full. I have done this to myself. Whatever. I didn't really I didn't I didn't really need it, I guess, but Ooh, a soda. No, okay, no soda. Jill does not want a soda. Jill Hey, the zombies are getting restless. I know. I can hear them. What's going on? I like how there's a for sale sign. It's a convenience store. Pretty Jill. much everything inside is for What's sale. What's wrong? They're coming. They must have sniffed us out. They know we're here. Hey, calm down. Any objections to my playing hero this time? What are you doing? 
Um, yes, Carlos, I object to you playing... Oh, God. Uh, oh, is this just a... It is, okay. I guess I was trying to turn them all on. I guess I need to turn them all off. Um... Am I missing something here? Oh, I need to get just B on. Okay. I didn't see it was highlighted. Now I need to get just D on. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Oh boy. Oh Jesus. There we go. I thought I said it was a two stage thing. Why am I doing it three times? <laughs> Yay, you did the thing. Now you get the machine oil. Hooray. Ran for your life, Jal. Good thing uh, I didn't want that first eighth party, I guess. <laughs> I didn't have the inventory space for it anyway. I fucked up. Carlos! Carlos! Carlos, did you do the thing? No. I'm alright, babe. You want my phone number now? Relax. I'm not dead yet. Are you okay? Jill explosion. <laughs> I'm fine. <sighs> Good thing you got out of there, Jill. You were about to be a Jill s'more. <sighs> oh, that poor DeLorean. I love how Carlos isn't even in that cutscene. Even though she was behind Jill, or he was behind Jill and should be dead right now, everybody's all right. Ouch! My ears are ringing. We both should be deaf by now. Huh? Okay. I really I'm wish they would have done that. Equipment. There might not be any at our destination. <laughs> Jill went, huh? Or said the exact same thing that he said. We should both be deaf right now. Huh? We should both be deaf right now. I guess I can go use the oil to get it out of my inventory. Before Nemesis shows up and tries to yeet me. Or, quote, decimate my face like he did to Brad. Brad's face is decimated. Oh, you dead, boy. You dead, family. Shoot the barrel. rat a tat a rat a tat a rat a tat a rat a Good thing I didn't blow that thing up earlier, huh? Also, it would have stopped because of the bodies on the ground. Just saying. Mikhail, do you have some kind of death wish? My people, they were wiped out by these monsters. I can't stop just because I need it. means. But can't you see those I guess Nemesis reduced Brad's face by 10%. I don't know. 
Are you accusing me of taking it out on them? You don't seem to understand something. We're not really involved with the company. There's no reason for any of us to take responsibility for this mess. He sounds more Scottish than he does Russian. I know that. And right now, that's the only reason why I'm trying to cooperate with you. He definitely sounds Scottish. That's what happens when you have a bad, fake Russian accent. Sorry. Sorry, I lass. So useless. Don't. You fought hard and have the wounds to prove it. But I'm still alive. My men aren't. Don't think about that now. Just rest. Can I, do I use the oil here? Yes, I do. Sweet. <clears throat> ah, it's still in my inventory. Shit. All right, well. Great. And there's no one in here. Alright, so... We definitely need to go and save the game. Because <laughs> it's been too long since I've saved. to hear that bad man say stars and chase me. I think birds show up in this area later, because of course. Good, it's just zombies. <laughs> I probably should have tried to kill them there while they were all bunched up. Shot them in the face with a shotgun. Alright, what do we need to do? Uh, we need a fire hose. Okay. Hi, bird. <laughs> just heard a door open. Before this one. Alright. So, we're gonna deposit this boy. Uh, whoops. Deposit that boy. Uh, we're gonna deposit the lockpick for now. You know what? We're gonna deposit the knife because I have so much ammo that I just need to go ahead and shoot enemies. <laughs> I definitely... We definitely got a few people watching. Appreciate all of you. Even if you uh, are quiet and have anxiety like I do. Appreciate you. Safe. I almost forgot to do that. Okay. <laughs> you you're not, but you're also not nine, ten, or eleven pe other people. <laughs> Shopping dist. Uh, maybe I erroneously remember that. I know we're about to fight or meet Nemesis again once we get to the spot with the fight. Oh, you motherfuckers. The spot with the fire hose.
Also, I don't remember any other Resident Evil game repopulating areas with zombies as much as this game does. Did I deposit the... I did. Nope, Jill, what are you doing? Thank you. Many zombies in it. Jeez. Our inventory space is good. We're gonna take a couple of these boys, because I'd rather use these than um, first aid sprays, if I can help it. First aid sprays I'd like to really save for when I have, like, when I'm in danger status, when I'm in the danger zone. You could always use a wrench. Ah, you no longer need this wrench. How do you know? Oh boy. Oh boy. Yes, I have been drinking my water. I have not gotten up and stretched, though. What I am going to do is pour myself a little something that's not water. Would you have us believe you are in an area or may not, that may or may not be classified dangerous? Not at the moment. No. Why is this feel like it's wet on the bottom. <laughs> Welcome back, Voodoofs. How how does your uh ah, jerk. How does your destiny go? Are you fulfilling it? Can we dodge all these boys? That's oh my oh, Jesus! I don't remember any other Resident Evil game having that many enemies coming at you at once. Oh boy. Good thing you have a fire hose, Jill. Working on your Dragoon disc again, trying to beat the boss right now. didn't happen yet. Woo! <clears throat> that'll, that'll put some uh, hair on your chest. Okay. Okay. 
Well, that sound means it's time to equip the shotgun. Oh, get fucked, boy. <laughs> Total accident. I played that off like I meant to do it. <laughs> and boy was not the word I meant to use. I meant to use the word bud. Get fucked, bud. Why isn't it letting me... Am I not? I guess I'm not standing in... What? Is that... Oh, that's... Is that an explosive thing? How did I do two? What? Those invincibility frames, though, will be the death of me. For the boys. Okay. I think this is where there's the Wait. Easter egg. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, see? What did you do? I had no choice. He was about to turn into a zombie. Mm. It would have been a threat, so I eliminated it. Mm. Uh, he was still conscious, wasn't he? He was as good as I mean, he does look like he's... And it took fewer bullets to kill him now than it would have, if he had transformed. No, because all you need to do is shoot him in the head. My guy. I know the story of this game. I know you're not on the up and up. Can I combine? Nope. That's eh, unfortunate. Not now, I'm busy. Your mom's busy. Hey -o! I'm sure I'm sure Nikolai's mom is a wonderful woman. Oh, I don't know the password. But I know we find it in here somewhere. If I get past this booze, you're gonna scrim dragoons tonight. Manager's report. Oh, another fucking essay here. Before you begin your new position, please allow me to give you some advice. Please allow me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Before you begin your new position, please allow me to give you some advice. Not advice, advise. Some of the medicine in the storage room, some of the medicine in the storage room are unstable and their quality will deteriorate under changing temperatures or humidity. Therefore, you must remember to keep the temperature the same in the storage room at all times. Whew. English, English teachers would have a field day with this one. You should personally check it every day. Although the computer checks it around the clock, a machine is not perfect. Try and remember that the machine is no is more than a tool is no more than a tool to be used by people. Well, that's rude. Are you after reading that? <laughs> you must check all personnel coming and going to the storage room. Many dangerous drugs are stored there. If any of them are missing, you have a serious problem on your hands. The door to the storage room is always locked, but when you let personnel into it, you will need to have them hand in their documents. And above else, remember that if you find anything suspicious, contact your boss immediately. If you forget the password to lock the door, try and remember that it is a word that everyone is familiar with. Because why make a password secure? Let's make it anything or something that anybody could guess. Don't forget that once a new product is shipped, the password will be updated again. You can always enter the password from the terminal for of the PC for administration. <clears throat> Alright dude, have a good campaign. Hope everything goes well. Tell Will I said what it do. Baby boo. Will you use the remote control? Yeah. Because the remote control... Adraville? <laughs> I 
I think that's the password. All right, bros. What have you done? Appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. That's a lot of that's a lot of gunpowder. I need this though. I don't have I don't have inventory space for gunpowder. Yes, I will take the oil additive. Oh shit. Shit shit shit. Shit 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 fuck shit. Oh, maybe it's not Nemesis here. Russian for no get wrecked, family. Really, that zombie was just hanging out in the in the corner there. Come on. So now I have the square I, I think it's the square crank, huh? Yeah, that's a square. I learned that in elementary school. Oh, but now... <laughs> no? Oh. Okay, I thought it was going to give me one of those options of like, hey, do you want to fight Nemesis? Do you want to run? It was just like, nope, here you go. <laughs> Alright, just keep running. Just keep running, Joe. Just keep running. Your boy's still, still following you. Keep running. Fuck off, Nemesis! Jesus! That motherfucker's too fast. That motherfucker's too fast. That motherfucker's too fast. Alright, I need to find a safe place to hide. Alright. You didn't follow us.
Where's the basketball court? Hmm. Well, let's just go forward and see what we find. I feel, I feel like... I feel like we lost Nemesis. Oh, boy. It's probably Reddit recommending dumb subreddits to me. I guess I, uh, the Reddit app has, like, started giving me recommendations every week of, like, hey, you might like this subreddit. And I feel like it's just a random subreddit. Not based on anything. No, oh, fuck off, you little shit. We could have avoided that if you had just eaten your kibble instead of me. You jerk. Um, and like a few weeks ago, Reddit was like, Hey, we think you might like this subreddit. And it was like, Celebrities Armpits. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Based on what? Oh, fuck me. Uh, of course, Nemesis is going to be right where I need to go. I'd like to find a save room. That's not what I meant. Oh, see, I, I went in a big-ass circle. <clears throat> I mean, I guess... Alright. Well, it'd be faster if I went back this way. Because I'd go... There, Jill's right. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're just gonna run past Nemi. Are we, are we gonna have to fight Nemesis? Are we gonna have to like get the assault rifle out and just bah, 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 Yeah, because it seems like he's not following me now, he's just guarding that door that I need to get in. Because of course it is. Alright. So, we're just gonna save here. Okay. Let's take this out so we'll mix it. Just so we can mix the two of them. that we're gonna deposit this boy we're gonna pick up this nope that's not well yes actually an old typewriter oh boy Alright. To quote Samuel L. Jackson in Jurassic Park, hold on to your butts. Cause we're gonna go, we're gonna go show Nemesis what for. Wait, we don't need to go that way. We're gonna go give Nemesis a what for? I don't 
I don't know the correct terminology. One thing I need to work on tonight is trying tonight is trying to get uh, House of the Dead installed. Oh god, no! Okay. Run, you! Fuck, bud. That's a lot of grenade rounds there, buddy. Which reminds me, we need to go back to the police station so we can get the grenade launcher that we didn't get before because we didn't have enough inventory space for it. Alright, there's nothing else here, huh? Cool, so we need to go to the police station. I think we're going to make it to the next section of the game in which everything is A-OK -okay with the train. And um, we might call it there, which will probably put us close to about three hours, I would say. Let's take a look at the map to figure out what direction we need to go. Oh, we're way on the other side. Yeah. 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 Okay. So take a right, Jill. <clears throat> or we might get the grenade launcher and then call it a night. I think we might do that. Because I've already been going for two, almost 2.5 hours. All right, take a left, Jill. Okay, took a left too soon. Ran into the trash can. I've been playing a game that I bought yesterday called uh, Future Tactics. Uh, I've never heard of this game before. Um... It looked mildly interesting from the back of the box, and it was like, I don't know, five bucks. I bought it. This game's pretty sweet. So I might play a little bit of that later after I cook some uh, food. But I'd never heard of Future Tactics before and decided to uh, give it a shot. And I would definitely recommend it. I might stream it at some point. We'll see. It seems like it probably wouldn't be a super interesting game to watch somebody play. Um, but, uh, yeah. Alright, so we can go ahead and deposit this now, because we shouldn't... Whoop, we shouldn't need that. Let's deposit that. <laughs> Oh, let's save it. <laughs> oh, we're going to save at the police station. We're good. We should be good. Uh, famous last words. So... Alright. 
go left. Son of a bitch! What? I don't have an I don't have a weapon equipped, that's why. <laughs> Well, they're all bunching up, which works out for me. Get fucked, bud. You and your whole squad just get wrecked. Nemesis doesn't appear here again. That would be really unfortunate. Ooh, I forgot. I left a green herb here. Get the green herb, Jill. Yes, take the green herb. Hey, Christ. the hang of this game. I say that as if it's a game I've never played before. Watch this hallway be repopulated with zombies. Ooh, hey! Surprised face from me. sound and the music just sounds like a fucking explosion. I think uh, at some point I might decide that I want to stream uh, the Metal Gear Solid series. Part of that would involve me Purchasing a copy of Metal Gear Solid 4 and borrowing a PlayStation 3 from Bird or buying my own PlayStation 3 or buying Bird's PlayStation 3. One of those, one of the above. Um, so I can play Metal Gear Solid 4, which I've only played when it came out. But, um,. I think that would be a thing that I would like. Oh, also, there's that whole collection on the PlayStation 4 that's got, like, Metal Gear, uh, those other side Metal Gear games on it. I might do that. All right, so let us deposit grenade launcher. And I meant to take the... That's not what I meant to do. We're going to save and call it an evening. Um, I would like to say that I very much appreciate everybody who was part of my uh, stream tonight. I know we had quite a number of lurkers, but uh, our usual bullies were in here. Bird, Voodoo's, West Nile, um, Neural Frights. Um, thank you for one arm, George, for uh, hanging out for a bit. And uh, the follow, appreciate you very much. Um, I will probably, this week at work is going to be real slow because it's Mardi Gras week and most of the schools are closed. So I'm probably going to be uh, streaming quite a bit after work. 
because there's probably not going to be a lot going on and I'll come home not being super tired. We'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, I definitely look forward to hopefully finishing this game this week. Um, as well as maybe getting in some more Code Veronica practice. Um, and maybe throw in another game or two in the mix. Maybe some more Parasite Eve or something like that. Uh, so we'll see. But anyway, uh, as always, I appreciate everybody who came and hung out, uh, who was lurking, all that good stuff. Um, and I hope everybody has a wonderful night, and I will catch you later.